What's going on everyone? Sammy here, and today we're taking a look at Skizzy Mars' sophomore album, Fun and Problems. How does it stack up compared to his previous work? Let's find out. What is going on, you wonderful people? My name is Sammy. And welcome back to another video on the channel. Hope y'all are taking care of yourselves. Hope everyone's hanging in there. And hope y'all are doing well. And before we really get into talking about this album itself, Skizzy Mars is by far, honestly, one of my favorite rappers in the game right now. I'm not into rap as much as I am into other genres such as rock. I mean, rock and metal, the rock's my favorite genre, you know? Rap comes kind of in second place to me. I listen to just about everything, I mean, except the most hardcore of country music but with rap i'm a bit pickier you know i like some substance to my rap music i'll admit there, there's i can get into moods where i'll where i'll listen to rap songs about titties and ass and money and this but when it comes to rap music that i'm going to keep coming back to over and over it's the kind of introspective moody rap that touches on real life topics that talks about real issues and real problems and you know, it doesn't always have to be negative, it doesn't have to be problems, but if you're going to talk about positivity, some more substantial three-dimensional angles. I mean, women and money is going to make anyone happy, you know, so so take the next step. And Skizzy Mars appealed to me from his, from his really early projects. I mean, his early singles like Make Sense, All Say, Cheer Up, Numb. I mean, th those four songs right there are prime examples of the kind of lyricism that Skizzy Mars is, is gifted with. Skizzy Mars is someone who always really puts that substance and that depth into his music. And not to mention, the producers that he works with, most notably Michael Keenan, I mean, he knows how to pick his, his, his teammates. The production on Skizzy's music is second to none, in my opinion, and it's only part of what keeps me coming back. You pair slick production, some nice, unique, creative, joyful production with some smart clever songwriting you have any given skizzy mars song and i mentioned his his really really early work i think the first full project that i heard from skizzy was uh the red balloon project which i thought was extremely solid it's really what drew me in from there he released alone together his first full-length album and between that first album and this album fun and problems he came out with another album, Free Skizzy Mars, and a couple of impromptu EPs here and there, a shorter one called Are You OK, which uh, signaled the return of a somewhat of a hiatus, and out of nowhere, a collaboration project with fellow artist Prelo, whom I also really enjoy his music a lot, but him and Prelo collaborated for an EP or an album, I don't really know what it was, it was a project called I Can't Take Me Anywhere. Now, I've enjoyed all these projects to varying degrees. Like I said, I enjoyed the Red Balloon project. I thought Alone Together was a very solid debut album, and it showed Skizzy really firing on all angles. His, his production, all there. His lyricism and songwriting really paints this storytelling atmosphere to his music. If you've seen my other album reviews, if you've seen really any of my videos, you'd know that storytelling is a main factor in uh, my enjoyment of an album. You know, if, if I want to put on that first song and then by the end of that closing track feel like I've taken in some kind of beginning, middle, and end, some kind of story, some kind of narrative, and Skizzy is really good at that. After Alone Together, when he came out with Are You OK, I thought that was a very brief yet really solid EP, and honestly, if it was longer, I would feel confident saying it's my, my favorite project of his to date. But unfortunately, it only comes in at just a few songs, all of which are amazing, but it's hard for me to really call it my favorite piece of work from the rapper when he's come out with longer, more substantial projects. Free Skizzy Mars, his most recent album before Fun and Problems, was good, but I did see it as a step down from his previous work. That, that sly, witty, like creative side to his, his narratives and his songs was really nowhere to be found on most of the project. That storytelling was just missing, and that's a huge part of what really draws me into Skizzy Mars' music. Not to say it was a bad album, I did enjoy it, and I still, to this day, play songs from it. It's just from front to back, I do see it as lackluster compared to his previous debut album, uh, Alone Together. Which brings us to 
Fun and Problems, his third album. Now the lead up to Fun and Problems was honestly kind of long. And I guess this can lead me into my only real negative with this album. <laughs> Spoiler alert, I love this album. But I guess we'll get the negatives out of the way. I wish this thing was longer. I wish this thing had more meat on the bone. The lead up to this album started in February when he dropped the first single, Pro Bad Decision Maker. From And from there, he would drop a total of four singles, Pro Bad Decision Maker, Wrinkled Sheets, Slow Dance, and Detach. And when I saw, you know, when he, when he drops four singles, when any artist or any band drops four singles, you're expecting a pretty chunky album, right? I mean, otherwise four singles is a pretty decent chunk of, of of what the whole project is gonna have to offer. Now, in addition to those four singles, two of those songs are interludes, and there is a grand total of 12 songs on this album. So if you're doing the math, four singles, two interludes, that's six songs, meaning only the other half of this album, another six songs, are actually brand new Skizzy Mars songs. And so, of course, all the songs on here I really enjoy, but when you're, when you're building to an album, and you drop four singles. I was honestly expecting like this all out, like 16, 17 song album from him, some super unprecedented, really long project, but just 12 songs. And most of the songs on there, I'm not sure if I could say most, but a good bit of the songs on here don't even pass the three minute mark. I just, I really think this album could have been longer. It could have been more substantial. There could have been more songs on here. There easily could have been more songs on here. However, with that out of the way, the album that we got is very good. I mean, I'm, I'm, if I'm gonna forget that, you know, we waited a long time for this and there were four singles, you know, if I'm gonna forget all the stuff that I just said and just take this album at face value, it is excellent. Fun and Problems features some of the best production on any Skizzy Mars album to date. I mean, every song on here is so uniquely sounding. Uniquely sounding, is that? Is that a grammatically correct phrase? Every song on here has its own distinct beat, has its own distinct sound to it. It really adds to the replayability of this project. The first couple times that I heard it, I enjoyed the album, and I was still kind of thinking in the back of my head, oh, this should have been longer, blah, blah, blah. But by the time I got into listen number three or <laughs> number four, I was sucked in. The song Detached, which was a single, I think the final single that Skizzy released before the album dropped, is probably my favorite song on here, and I wish I that wasn't the case because it's a single. However, the singles are good, and so are all the new songs. Like I said, the production on here really, really is second to none. I mean, I can comfortably say this is the best production on any Skizzy Mars album to date. The album Fun and Problems mostly deals with with Skizzy's out of balance life. You know, he becomes a, it becomes apparent over the course of this project, and I think he even says so in one of the interludes, that Skizzy has been living this life of, of partying and the rock star lifestyle and drugs and this and that. And this album kind of signifies that the end of that path that he's reached where kind of he's woken up and he's like, well, <laughs> wait a minute, this life that I'm living, it, it's, it's kind of destructive. As a result, this album, while featuring all these playful upbeat songs also does feature a lot of introspective lyricism that we really didn't see since uh, Are You Okay? It sees Skizzy kind of coming to terms with the consequences of, of the life he's been leaving and leading and talking about how at this point, like in the song Detached, how he's just so out of touch with reality that the only thing that brings him back to reality are, are the drugs, is, is the medicine. Songs like Pro Bad Decision Maker uh, and Motel, you know, see Skizzy singing over Lost Love. And speaking of singing, he has a pretty good singing voice. I mean, I've, you know, we've, we've, we've heard Skizzy sing before, but his voice is really prominent on these songs, Motel and Pro Bad Decision Maker, a couple of others on here. And his, he displays a very skillful range that I think has come with, with age and his time in the industry. And I think it's only gonna get better from here. Songs like History, Chips Fall, feature instantly addictive beats. I mean, these songs draw you in by, by, by five seconds, you're into it and you're bobbing your head up and down and this and that. The song Ruin My Life is probably one of the most classic skizzy songs on here featuring nice bouncy progression, some slick songwriting, catchy chorus. I mean, it's that song is classic skizzy the closing track eyes on the road is probably the most 
traditional sounding rap song on here with a beat that you could probably find something similar on any modern rap album today. Not to say it's bad, however, it's just not as unique as the rest of the songs on here. But Eyes on the Road is probably one of the more substantial songs on here. I think it's one of the longest, actually. Where Skizzy talks about, you know, I guess <laughs> the title didn't give it away, talks about looking forward, you know, eyes eyes on the future, you know, always always stay focused. There, There's a very wide range of subject matter that he covers on this project, but all of it encompasses, as he says himself on the song Ruin My Life, that the songs on here kind of encompass that city life. And that's just classic Skizzy. I mean, all of his albums, I've, I've bumped, you know, at night, driving windows down, just driving through the city, driving anywhere. He's, he's late night driving music, late night contemplative driving music. That's what Skizzy Mars is, is known for in my book. I mean, that's why I keep coming back to his music. Now on this project, I talked about how the production is really variable in its range. Skizzy tries a lot of new things here that isn't really present on his previous work. The single Slow Dance, when I first heard that, I mean, if you take the lyrics out, I wouldn't really recognize this as a Skizzy Mars song. It's a very unique beat for him and it's something that I enjoyed listening to on this album, the new things that he tries. And of course it helps that he has a long-standing relationship with producer Michael Keenan, so I'm sure that you know they're, they're, they're buddies, they're friends, they probably bounce ideas off of each other, they work with each other, and it's very apparent that these two are a very efficient pair. Like I said, every song on here, it's like the beat was made for the lyrics and sometimes it feels vice versa. I really enjoy this album front to back. So like I said, my only real issue with this project is the fact that it's not longer. I mean, we waited till his last album in 2019 and I figured as he started dropping singles, I really thought we were building to something huge. Uh, however, taking, taking the album at face value, you know, I gotta be unbiased just cause I was expecting something doesn't mean that I should knock a score down because it's not what I was hoping for. But what we got is an extremely solid, well-refined, one of his most realized works to date. And from here, I'm, I'm really excited to see where he goes from here. It'll probably be another two to three years before the next full album, but um, I'm, I'm here for it. And I can't wait to see where the rapper goes from here. I really hope to get to see him live one day, man. I mean, I'm sure a, a skizzy show it's gotta be insane. So yeah, I mean, I don't really know what more I can say. It's a brief album. I mean, slick production, amazing production, clever songwriting, introspective lyricism. It's really everything that I would want in a Skizzy Mars album, just not as long, <laughs> you know? But anyway, before I keep repeating myself over and over, I'm gonna leave you guys with that. That's my review on Fun and Problems by Skizzy Mars. I don't really do like scores for the albums I review on this channel. Um, but it's really good. I mean, it gets two thumbs up from me if, if you're looking for a, for a concrete score. Until next time, guys, y'all stay safe. Take care of yourselves. Appreciate you watching. Let me know what you think. Did you enjoy this album? Did you not enjoy this album? Why? Why not? And yeah, peace out, guys. Take care.